Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, hi, my name is Natasha and it's fantastic to have you here. We're doing a little bit of a different setup today so hopefully this works out. I love experiments. This is the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot deck by Matt Hughes. It is published by the US Game Systems. I'm not sure about retail price. I believe it's somewhere between $21 and $23.99. However, I will link below where you can purchase it, not affiliated and not sponsored. I just want you guys to find what you're looking for. This has been on my list to get for quite some time and a lot of you have been requesting it, so here we go. All right, in creating Ethereal Visions Tarot, Matt Hughes has drawn inspiration for the Art Nouveau movement, adopting its distinctive style and meticulous approach to craftsmanship. The artist has also uh, created two additional cards to supplement the traditional major arcana. Every detailed image in the 80 card deck is hand drawn and colored. Each card is illuminated with gold foil stamping to elegant effect. Includes a 48 page booklet. All right, here we go. There's the booklet. I've kind of looked through just to see beforehand what kind of information we needed and there's not much info at all that we need to know other than it was um, based on the artist's own journey of inner reflection and meditations, which I think is really cool. And then it jumps right into the meanings. We have upright and reversed. And then in the back here, we have two little pages for your notes which is nice. There are no spreads, but you can always go online or get a tarot spread book if that's what you're interested in too. All right, look at that back. Oh. So it's a little bit bigger of a card than like the Llewellyn deck. And it's like, I'm gonna call it a semi-gloss because it's not really shiny. It's more of like, there's just like that little film of it to kind of protect the card stock. Um, and let's just talk about the cardstock real fast. It is not super thick and it's not super thin. It does not feel like paper. Um, it feels pretty sturdy, but flexible. I like it. I'm not going to complain about it. Okay. Wow. Beautiful. So the gold foil is nice. I really like it, like it, like it, like it. Um, the border is not bothering me as much as it normally would um, because I feel like it adds something to the picture, especially with him kind of popping out around the border. It feels like there's movement here. I love that. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, look, it's the... Um, Abora, Ouroboros, I, I never can say it right. The snake eating its tail. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the art style. Art Nouveau has always been one of my um, loves. I really enjoy the aesthetic of it. It's beautiful. And speaking of aesthetic, I feel like this is definitely one of those decks that um, is very pleasing to look at like on Instagram and stuff. So it's definitely one of those decks where like if you do your um, readings online and show off the, the uh, cards, this is definitely one of those decks for that. It is just beautiful. And quite honestly, I would feel like I would be paying more for this. Look at the amount of gold foiling. It's just beautiful. And the gold foiling is done differently in each card, so it's not this monotonous thing. I feel like it just adds so much more into the art. We still have the numbers, we still have the title. I love this one. Oh my gosh, look at the little skull. It's beautiful. Ooh. That is a different take. Wow. Oh my gosh, I really love. <laughs> I'm in love. Oh, look at the death card. Each card has its own like 
personality. I really love this. The only thing I would complain about is I'm not seeing a lot of diversity. And oh, hold up. I really love this because, okay, first of all, look at all the foiling and look at how the card is essentially monotoned. And like you can't really see the devil, but you can. Oh, love that. Oh, the symbolry, symbology or whatever you want to call it is fantastic. It's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. I do feel like this could be very beginner friendly. Um, however, we'll keep going and see. I love how the gold foiling is just like placed where it needs to go. It's not overdone, but it adds so much. It's like a different layer on top of the gorgeous art. Beautiful. Okay, here's one of the additional cards. The well. Then we have the Arise. Interesting. Oh, I love this King of Cups. Oh. These are just, I can't with these. These are stunning. You can sit here and look at them forever and pick up new things. I love that in a card. I love that feeling of seeming like it's a new read each time with your deck. Okay, let's see if they're pip cards. No, they're not just pip cards. Oh, I'm I'm very happy. So yes. Um, I think these will definitely be very beginner friendly for you. Yes. Yes. I'm so excited. Okay. Beautiful. <laughs> Interesting seven of cups. Oh, I see. I love how he chooses to use the gold foiling. It just adds so much. So pretty. Okay, pentacles. It's so nice. I love it. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to love the, this deck this much. I really do find it stunning. Oh, like I honestly feel like I should have been paying like $80 for this deck. This is one of those very professional looking decks that you can use with your clients and they can just be in awe over how gorgeous it is. And it's also very, um, it's not intimidating. I don't find it to be um, one of those decks where you can scare off uh, timid clients. I feel like they can see... Um, and relate to what's going on without being afraid or, you know, uh, sk skittish is the word that I'm trying to use. Oh my gosh, I love. Interesting sword. I thought that was part of his beard for a second. <laughs> oh my goodness. He 
Yeah, the uh, amount of movement in the art in the cards that it needs to depict movement is phenomenal. Ugh. I'm honestly super shocked. Oh, that is so pretty. Is there a card that you look for in your new decks that you um, know that you're going to love the deck? Mine's usually the um, star or the tower even. I look for a couple decks. Uh, a couple cards in the deck. So since this has been around for a few years, I would love to hear from those of you who own this, what you think about it, if this is your go-to deck or you only pull it out for special occasions or for certain um, types of readings. We all have those sometimes, I feel like. Um, those of us with with um, more than one tarot deck, there's always a deck for a certain thing, like your everyday deck, and then there's like special decks that you use. At least that's with me and a few other people I know. Um, not to say that you have to have more than one deck, I'm just saying. Some of us have special decks we use for different types of readings, that's all. Oh, I love, oh my gosh, this deck is everything. I literally only have that one complaint. I'm excited to see how it shuffles. I feel like the price that it's set at, I know I didn't spend more than $24. I know I didn't. Um is such a great price for this quality. Normally, if it's a foil deck like this, it costs so much more. And usually the foil is on the edges or like used very delicately in the actual card. I'm super impressed. I would love to know your opinion. But yeah, this is beautiful. Okay, let's see how it shuffles. Huh? Oh, I do not have a problem with this. All right, let's see if there's a card that wants to be read here. Shuffles pretty decently this way too. There we go, there's a card. Okay, so the card that popped out, the 10 of Pentacles with a little pupperdoo. Okay, let's see what the booklet has to say. Ten of Pentacles, wealth, achievement, family, satisfaction. Reversed would be burden, loss, and loneliness. How perfect. And then in the beginning here, it has um, an overview of this suit. The suit of Pentacles relates to the physical aspects of life, work, health, finances, creative outlets, and material possessions. They appear as a mirror for what manifests in the physical world. Element would be Earth, Astrological Correspondence, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Direction would be East. Perfect. I mean, very beginner-friendly in my in my opinion. Let's just look at the well here. The well is the birthplace of ideas, inspiration, and transformation. All things are birthed from this creatrix, and knowledge flows freely to those who seek it. Wow. Okay, so basically we have like a feminine and we have um, a, a masculine card. Very cool. Let me know what you think about this because I am just blown away. And like I said, that was literally my only critique was that there was no, you know, diversity really. Um, but that's only one negative thing. Um, so 
I really love this. I think it is a gorgeous deck. I feel like you're definitely getting your money's worth. And then um, if you need more information on the meanings of the cards, you can always find it in another tarot book or in another um, uh, an online source as well. So let me know what you think down in the comments section below. Hopefully um, this was helpful for you. And as always, thank you for spending your time with me. I really appreciate each and every one of you. And um, as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell on your way out of this video. That way you'll never miss an upload from me. Thank you so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.